Hello everyone, just wanted to show you some of the tools I use. Here are the commercial ribs and needle tool that you can buy everywhere. Um, but I decided that it's sometimes it's easier or, or a little bit more creative to make your own tools. So I started to use hotel key room cards. And using an ordinary pair of scissors, you can cut them down to any shape that you desire. Try to get some of the uh, interesting little designs and curves. Some of the best resources for tools are little stores that aren't necessarily designed to sell ceramic tools. Here's a dollar store, a little... Uh, spatula type of thing I picked up. It had, had great little curves and edges on it. I didn't even take off the sticker. Um, looking close here we've got a uh, cheese slicer which is water and, and metal don't mix as you can see but it still works really well for facets. Um, we've got a small little sponge cut in a triangle for sharp edges. It's that special kind of foam sponge. A uh, scrubby that you might use for your dishes. Knock off some of the burrs when you're dry pieces. Another metal tool with a serrated edge. Um, this is a wiggle wire from Van Gilder, and I went to his website and purchased that. It's pretty nice for the bottom of the mugs. And I purchased a book from Van Gilder, and it, he shows you how to make a, a foam brush over a, an old paintbrush held together with the rubber band from you know, a, a box of clay that you might buy, and it's great for going to the corners of mugs and cups. And lastly, here's a piece of a uh, wall mounting bracket that I kind of broke up with a hacksaw and bent around. And I'm just going to make that, uh, I'm going to grind it down and make a, a trimming tool.